What's going on guys, my name is Matt and GPU prices are insane right now. And unlike the price spike of this past summer, this time around even many of the budget graphics card offerings are getting marked up ridiculously high. This in turn has caused a lot of people to go to the used market for graphics cards looking at budget offerings like the 750 Ti and HD 7850, both of which are great for light 1080p gaming. When browsing for cards like these you may have noticed they come in two main variants, 1GB and 2GB models and many times the 1GB versions are considerably cheaper than their 2GB counterparts. Conventional wisdom will tell you that the 1GB versions do not have enough video memory for even lighter modern day titles, and some may even say that in 2018, 2GB isn't even enough. This all got me thinking as to what kind of a performance difference would I see if I compared two of the exact same GPUs, with the only differentiating factor being the amount of video memory in each. Luckily for me, at the time of filming, I had two HD 7850s on hand, one with 1GB of video memory and one with 2GB of video memory. I paid $50 for the 1GB version and $60 for the 2GB one, though I did purchase both of these a while back, so current pricing may vary. The 7850, which released in March of 2012, has 1024 stream processors clocked at 860MHz stock. Both of these cards have copper heat pipes with aluminum fin arrays, but the 2GB version I have has a single fan, while the 1GB model has two. Like I said before, the 7850 is a good GPU for light 1080p gaming, and I've actually used these guys in a few builds in the past. Going into this, I wanted to make sure the only variable that changed between these two cards was going to be the amount of VRAM, which meant I had to make a few precautions as not to skew the data. The first was testing them on the same PC. The test PC I used is my Ryzen 3 test bench with a Ryzen 3 1200 at 3.6GHz and 16 gigabytes of 2400 MHz DDR4 in dual channel operation. I like testing low end GPUs on Ryzen 3 as it still has plenty of power as not to bottleneck the GPUs and it gives more realistic numbers for people wanting to know the type of performance they can expect when picking up one of these cards. I also made sure to clock these cards at the same core and memory speed again to make sure the only variable changed was the VRAM. In terms of games tested, I went with 4 games ranging in difficulty, age, and system requirements. The games tested were Overwatch, Fortnite Battle Royale, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, and GTA 5. The first game tested was Overwatch, which is the lightest title out of all of these. I did a custom graphics preset putting each tab to high and the render scale to 100%. This resulted in some pretty similar numbers. The 2GB version had around a 5 FPS increase on both the average FPS and 1% lows. With this being said, both were playable experiences, but the 2GB model was slightly better. The second game tested was Fortnite Battle Royale the newest game of the set and actually one of my favorite games out right now. Also it's free to play so I'd recommend checking it out. In terms of settings, both cards were tested at 1080p on the medium preset. For this title, the average FPS between these two cards was basically the same with the only difference being a slight jump in 1% lows for the 2GB card over the 1GB version. This is a pretty good testament to the optimization of Fortnite. And on the subject of game optimization, let's move on to PUBG, a notoriously unoptimized game. At 1080p on the low preset, both of these cards averaged below 30 FPS. In this game, there was a very narrow increase in average FPS and 1% lows for the 2GB model, which I thought there would have been a wider gap. The final game tested was GTA 5, which at the time of release was a notorious video memory hog. I set most of the taps to high, which in GTA 5 is more like medium, and the estimated video memory usage was 2GB. So I was sure the 1GB was going to do terrible, but the results honestly shocked me. These two cards performed exactly the same. I ran the test again and same results. I'm honestly not sure how this is possible if the VRAM usage is so much higher than what is available. If you guys think you know then let me know in the comment section down below. I tested using what I normally do which is just the first driving mission with Franklin so that may be it but I'm not sure. Overall I'm really surprised how evenly both of these cards performed. I thought the 2GB version was going to be considerably better especially in games like PUBG and GTA 5. I may make a follow up video where I test these two against the latest and greatest titles out, so if you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comment section down below. So yeah guys, I think this wraps this video up, I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, as well as consider subscribing for more PC and tech related content in the future, and as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.